The laws of exponents are really abstract and can be tricky to decipher when you first encounter them. And even more so when we're dealing with roots. So let's just kind of iron out two of these basic rules. We have the nth root of a to the n has to equal a. If n is odd, and then let's just write out our second one, that the nth root of a to the n equals the absolute value of a if n is even. And here, let's first start with this second law written as, right, um, let's start with the second law first. What this is saying is if you have, let's say, instead of using a, let's use x. Let's say I have x squared, and I'm taking, well, in this case now, n is 2, right? That's the value of n. So I have to take, to, to match this law, the second root of this. And what will that equal? Well, this is saying it's going to be the absolute value of x, which is just saying whatever x is, it's the positive of that, right? It's the absolute value of the distance from 0. And why is that? Well, if you have x squared, and then you're taking the square root of that, what this equals is x squared to the 1 half, because the square root is the half power. And the laws of exponents tell us that 2 times a half is 1. In this case, you multiply, and 2 times a half is 1, is what I meant to say. And that's just x to the first. But we also need the absolute value sign, because in algebra here, we want to make sure that we know the result is positive. For example, if you have uh, negative 4 squared, and then you're taking the square root of that, this tells me that it has to be the absolute value of negative 4, which is just 4. And if I was to say, let's say I have the, the square root of negative 9 squared, I don't want to write the answer as negative 9, right? If I just said in my law up here that the answer is a, and not the absolute value of a, I might think, in this case, in this case a equals negative 9, I might think the answer is negative 9. But it's not. It's the absolute value of negative 9, which is 9. And essentially, in all cases, no matter what root you're dealing with, let's say, I don't know, the uh, negative uh, f 3 to the 10th, if you're taking the 10th root of that, so n is even here, you're going to get the absolute value if you're dealing with a number um, or a variable, but the absolute value to indicate this positive, and the answer is going to be, in this case, 3. Because in all of these cases, you might notice that these powers are canceling out with their corresponding roots. And it has to do, again, with the law of exponents, right? This is just saying negative 3 to the 10th, and then the 10th root is 1 over 10. When you're dealing with this situation right here, the laws of exponents tell us to multiply. 10 by a 10th is 1, and then it's negative 3 to the 1, or just negative 3, but it has to be positive. Why? Because when you have in here negative 3 to the 10th, it's a negative number to an even power. So you have 10 negative factors, it has to give you a positive result. Anytime you have an even number of negative factors, the result is positive. Whereas in the first one here, let's look at this one, if n is odd, right, uh, the answer will just equal whatever the original value was. It doesn't necessarily need to be positive. So the one way of thinking about this is if n is odd, the result can be positive or negative. And whereas if n is even, the result is positive. So if n is odd, let's just take a look at that real quick. Do a couple of examples. Let's say I have, um, let's do 8. 8 to the third, and I want to take the third root of that. Well, that's just going to equal, in this case, a equals a, so the answer should be 8, and we can confirm that. 8 to the third, and the third root of that is just 8 to the first. But if a is negative, let's say I have negative 8 to the third, I'm taking the third root of that. This is saying, well, a is negative 8, so the result is negative 8. And that makes sense as well, because if you take negative 8 to the third power, and then take the third root of that, right, the third power and third root cancel, 3 times a third is 1, and all you're left with is negative 8. Unlike with even powers, with odd powers like this, you have an odd number of negative factors, so that negative base is going to stay negative. 
All right, I hope that helped.